Hi, everybody. This is Vicki Pizzarelli with Angle and Volkers here in Rhode Island. And it's been a while since I've had a video on YouTube. So um, I've been a little busy. The market's been a little crazy, um, at least for me. And um, just trying to get back on track with some marketing and, and to give some valuable information to everybody. So let's go get right to it. So um, one of the big questions I get um, when people find out I'm, I'm a realtor is that they want to know how the market is. They they want to know, um, oh, how's the market doing? Like you could meet a stranger in the store and if they have any inkling that you're a realtor, they see a, a name tag on you or um, they ask, oh, hey, what do you do for a living? Right away, they they want to know everything about you, the real estate market and everything. Um, so let me just tell you what I think, how the market is. So let me, let's start with this first. Housing is still great in Rhode Island. We still have a lack of inventory here. And what I'm going to tell you is, I'm going to give you a little analogy here. And if you remember Beanie Babies from years back, how crazy everybody went for them, housing market and Beanie Babies, kind of the same a little bit, right? If you think about it, Beanie Babies had such a great marketing tool when they, when they came out. It was supply and demand. Housing, supply and demand, Beanie Babies, supply and demand. What happened was they were flooding the market with these Beanie Babies. But what they did, and Tyco Toys really came out with a great idea, let's create limited editions. And let's create, um, only give so many out to so many locations. And that's it. We're not going to make them anymore. And then they started numbering them and making them a little different. And people went crazy. I was one of those people. I was getting the Beanie Babies for my kids. Um I can't tell you how many Happy Meals I ate to get the teeny beanies, um, but they were popular. It was supply and demand, just like housing is supply and demand. Um, back then, when the Beanie Babies were crazy and people would stalk their UPS drivers or get the UPS schedule, people were camping out in front of stores waiting for it to open to get the Beanie Babies. It was a madhouse. If you remember that, throw me a comment. I would love to know your Beanie Baby story because I'm sure everybody has a lot of funny ones. But... With the housing market in Beanie Babies, um, Beanie Babies were, you know, you might had like 10 certain Beanie Baby in a package, um, a shipment to a store. And then what would happen was everybody was going crazy for those Beanie Babies. I sold one Beanie Baby for 800 bucks. Can you believe that? It was like, I think the average cost was like five or six bucks for a Beanie Baby. And I actually sold one for the highest one I sold was for 800 bucks, but I sold them for a few hundred dollars each. It was crazy. So now I had, I have two sons and at the time, one son, they were both collecting them and I would collect them for myself to sell them. And one son saw the value in selling them at that point and he sold it and he made good money on it. I think he bought an Xbox with his money. I don't remember. Um, my other son wanted to hold on to it because he figured, well, I'm going to hold on to these. They're going to be worth money a long time from now. Well, I still have the Beanie Babes in a box of his here at my home in the basement and Housing is very much like that. So housing is very low in demand, low, high in demand, low inventory, right? So what happens is the lack of inventory, the higher the demand, more people are going out there and buying them. You have more buyers going after them. You have multiple offers. Now, granted, not every home is in that situation because it's price and location and condition, right? So even those homes are selling, but they're a little harder to sell because buyers are very savvy right now. Um, they, the internet, you know, gives a lot of information and they're very well informed. So now if you're a seller and you want to sell and you got that hot commodity, that beanie baby, and you want to sell and the market's hot, why are you not selling? What I hear is, oh, I don't want to sell because where am I going to go? I don't want to sell because my interest rates more than going to be more than double that I'm paying now. But let's, let's think about this. So you're going to sell. Are you downsizing? Are you moving out of state? If you're downsizing, then you are going to have less expenses with that house that you're already in. Yes, your interest may, rate might be a little higher, but if you have equity in your home, you're going to have a big down payment. You'll probably be able to pay some off credit cards, some bills, and have a fresh start. Will you pay a little bit higher for a home? Maybe. You don't know. If you have a good realtor on your side, you know they'll help, they'll help and guide you through that. A lot of people... They're afraid to sell because they don't know where they're going to go. Well, there's a problem. There's a, uh, you could solve that problem too. What happens is you go into contract with the buyer. Hopefully you get multiple offers. You look for the best terms. And don't forget, you're the seller. 
you got the upper edge over the buyer right now. So now you're going to go into um, what's called a Hubbard agreement. And what happens is you're going to, um, once you find the house, you're going, it's going to be subject to you selling your home. So you're not going to be homeless if you sell your home. You can also put a contingency in your purchase and sales contract stating that it's subject to you finding suitable housing and put a time frame on that. And if you don't find a house, then not, no harm, no foul. The buyer wasted that time, but you're not getting thrown out of your house to sell it. Maybe you have relatives you can stay with until you find something to sell that house quick if you've got that crazy offer that you can't pass up. The reason I'm saying this is because your house is a beanie baby. It's not going to always be like this. Your house is not always going to be this high-valued commodity as it is now. I think what's going to happen in 2024, the feds are going to drop the rates a little bit. It's an election year. They got to look good. And it's going to bring more um, anticipation, more buyers out there looking. Because once the rates go down a little bit, even a point, the buyers are going to go out full force. And your house is going to have multiple offers. It's going to be crazy. So stop treating your house like a beanie baby, like my son and held on to it. Because if you want to sell, sell. There's never a good time. A good time to sell or buy is when it's a good time for you. But you might not see this again. We don't know how long this is going to last. Will the market crash? That's another big question I get. Well, the Beanie Babies crashed, didn't they? The fad, the fad went out and that, that fad went away, right? Yeah, it will crash. I don't think it'll be like 2008. But yes, we'll see some foreclosures, maybe some short sales. Um, it's not going to be crazy. And I'll tell you what, the banks are getting all the money for those properties. It's not like 2008 where you could buy a property for 50000 That was a banking crisis. That crisis has been resolved and there's laws in place for that not to happen again. So forget 2008. It's over. Get over it. If you got your beanie baby still, give them to your grandkids, your kids now, let them play with it. That fad is over too. So don't miss the fad of selling your house right now. Don't treat your house like a beanie baby. Sell it now. If you need any help or any questions about how to sell your home, um, please give me a shout out. DM me. Call me. My information is on the banner here. Um, Vicki Pizzarelli, Angle and Volkers, 401-432-4129. And please hit like or smash that bell so you have um, so you can subscribe to my channel and get more information as it comes up. And I promise you I will be more attendant on giving you more information. So thank you. And Nice to see you all again. Bye.